Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So you don't know it's them. So it's around it's around midnight. So I can't sleep. So I decided that you know what? I'm gonna do a video for you guys. So the video that I'm gonna be doing for you guys um now it's it's a pretty uh personal video. It's a video that I haven't done before, uh, I haven't shared with you guys before. So I've decided that, you know what, I'm going to share this video with you guys so that you guys can get a clear idea of what it is like moving to Canada as an international student, as a temporary worker, or for any person who's coming to Canada to settle for the first time, what to expect and what it is really like, right? So as the title of this video suggests, my wife had to clean bathroom while i was in school how did that make me feel so the first thing i would like to say guys is when you're moving to a new country as i always say you have to be prepared to start from the bottom right you're not gonna always be able to get the job that you want but you have to be able to you have to be willing to take the job that you get no back in jamaica my wife was a administrator um our administration um clerk or whatever you call it office personnel where she did like the office duties and all of those stuff so moving to canada it was our intention for her to get a job similarly like that but as we have said in many videos before guys when we came we just had to hit the ground running and because of that my wife had to take a janitorial job now this is not something that she was um, familiar with before and this is not something that she was comfortable doing. Like for me, I was an inter international student, so I could only work 20 hours. So uh, there's nothing much I could have done in terms of income wise. And then being the person who she is, she decided that, you know what? She not gonna wash her face and she just like a deal with it, right? So that was kind of like uh, an adjustment for me in terms of like personally, I was in a decent job in Jamaica. I was able to like provide for my family. And for, for that period of time, my wife was like the main breadwinner and her job was legit a cleaning job at the time. So it was pretty, it was pretty, uh, I wouldn't say difficult, but it was like an eye opener. Because we were coming to Canada at first, we had so much uh, goals and aspirations and intentions and and our perspective was that we're coming to this country and everything's gonna be okay and everything's gonna be good and then everything will be sad out and all of them thing there. So, which it is, but at the time, uh, we never thought that she would have to end up doing a job like that, right? So for that, it was like a real eye opener. And then when I, when I spoke to my wife, she aided it because like legit, she had to like be cleaning bathrooms. She had to be cleaning like uh, the, the entire office everywhere. Like it was a, it was a casino. And then, you know, I make it worse because she had to be like dealing with vacuums and all of those stuff. She um, developed like carpal tunnel syndrome. And then that was, <laughs> that was another story because like, from wristband to wristband to like a multitude of different things, right? But as I said, the purpose of this video, guys, is to let you guys know that, listen, you have to be willing to take whatever job is available, right? In other words, Jamaican people have a prayer long where them say, you have to suck salt through wooden, wooden spoon, right? And you take what you can get while you work on. And also, you go, you go again. Oh, you go again, people. You go, um... You take where you get until you get where you want. Take where you can get until something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So you you take what is available until you get what you really want, and that was what we had to do. And then she did that for a few months. She did that for she did that for a few months, and uh, well, even though it was a cleaning job, the income wasn't bad because, as you know, we're in the province of Alberta, and the minimum wage is fifteen dollars fifty cents. So that was like okay income. She had to get to work at six o'clock in the morning, and then I picked her up at two o'clock in the afternoon. And that was a, um, a story in of itself, guys. Stay tuned for another story time about that, because um, when we just got here, it, was, it wasn't it was all sunshine and roses, and uh, we always say this, right? It was an uh, eye-opening experience for us, and we, we like to share our experiences so that everybody else, everyone else who's thinking of coming to Canada, 
can have a real perspective, right? It's a country that you can make. You can be anything we want to be. It's full of so much opportunities. And if it is that you are determined, then you can accomplish anything that you want to accomplish. It's really up to you, right? You get you get what you put in or you reap what you sow, as this as the saying goes, right? So it's not a case where that you're in a good job in, in your own country and then you come to Canada and then you get a job that is equal or better than what you get immediately. Some persons were lucky and I consider myself very blessed and very lucky because like I was able to get uh, a good job. So that was um, at least a good thing that happened to us. But for my wife, she had to clean bathroom. She had to clean um, hotel rooms. She had to deal with like disgruntled guests. She has to deal with like like animals and like the thing is people like it like canada is a pet friendly country so in the hotels and stuff the dogs are in the rooms the dogs are in the bed the dogs are in the bathroom so the, the dogs that shed them shed on the bed and them shed in the bathroom and then you know if you have allergies and stuff and all of them stuff there is like yo it's crazy so she had to deal with all of those stuff and then from from going to work six o'clock in the morning leaving two to going to work five o'clock again leaving ten it did it was rough guys it was rough in the in initial few months she had to be working like two jobs she was a housekeeper in an hotel and she was a janitor somewhere else so uh when she goes she goes to the janitorial job six o'clock in the morning leaves at two and then go to the hotel job at five in the evening and then leave at ten to be up again at six o'clock in the morning so you can see how difficult that can be right so if it is that you don't have that mindset that hey you're gonna work to to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish it really don't make no sense because it's not a country that that gives you uh luxury in terms of it doesn't give you the comfort of uh just living a, a simple, easy life without working. It's a fast-paced country. You have to, some persons have to be working two, three jobs just to make ends meet, right? And other persons are lucky enough to get one job. So you have to be prepared mentally and physically for all of these uh, challenges and all of these new experiences that are be that are gonna be coming your way right especially as an international student when you can only work for 20 hours it's gonna be a transition because like a part-time income is not always enough to cover all your daily needs if you are lucky enough to have like your partner with you your spouse with you who can work full-time it definitely makes a difference but it it also depends on the job that they're able to get right they have to you guys have to come with a clear perspective a clear perspective no say oh it not go easy but when i go, when I go struggle through a little but it will get better and i i can sit here today and tell you guys that listen the best decision that we have ever made in our life is deciding to come to this beautiful country there's no other decision that we have made that we have loved and appreciated so much this is like the best thing that we have ever done, even though that was how it started. So I say that to say, listen guys, it might be challenging in the beginning, but if you ride out the wave a little, probably in the first few months, then you're, you two are gonna sit down and tell someone else that, listen, do it. Do it without a shadow of a doubt, right? It is not, it's without a shadow of a doubt. If you're lazy though, it's not the country for you. But if you're willing for work, it is absolutely the country for you, right? So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, of course, guys, you know what? We really appreciate the love that we've been getting from you, all our subscribers. We really and truly appreciate it. Uh, we try to do videos that are relevant. And of course, we're not, we're not necessarily doing this to get subscribers. or We're not necessarily doing this to get likes on our videos. But we're doing this so that we can help someone who wants to come to canada we are doing this so that if you are in your own country and you want to study in canada if you want to work in canada then you have a video that you can look on that you can see real life experiences and get a perspective of what it is really like right and i also hope that i can motivate someone who is probably 50 50 about making the decision is it worth it yes no doubt no two ways about it should I, should you do it? Absolutely. No two ways about it. 
a lot of persons um, make the mistake of telling the wrong person about their dream in terms of their dream to come to Canada and then that person probably can't see the dream and they discourage them and then they become demotivated. I'm telling you guys, listen, I'm a Jamaican. I lived in Jamaica for 30 years, right? Before moving to Canada. And I'm telling you guys that I've gotten more in Canada in the past few years that I've been here compared to what I've gotten in Jamaica for the 30 years that I've been there. And I was in a good job. So I can only imagine for persons who are not in a good job and want to make the transition, all right? So that's enough preaching, guys. Call it a midnight session, if you may. It's now... <laughs> It's now 12.30 in the morning, guys. I can't sleep. I'm nocturnal. So who knows? Probably I'll do another video for you guys. You know, I don't know. Stay tuned. Leave a like on the video, guys. Um, let me know that you are here. Drop a comment. Let me know that you guys appreciate the videos. If you guys are seeing, um, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, if we're doing videos that you guys can relate to, please leave a like, leave a comment. Make me know on the day here. Big up on yourself. If you guys are watching this for the first time and you're not yet subscribed, guys, Please go and subscribe. Turn on the bell as well. Make sure that your bell is on so that you can see when we post our new videos. All right. We are a growing community, guys. This community is for you. This is a community that is designed and geared to you. Right. So my wife and I started this channel, guys, because when we were looking to come to Canada, there wasn't many channels that we could get like relevant day to day um, advice, experience and perspective. So that's why we're doing this, so that you who are thinking to come to Canada can look on this channel and get all the information that we wish we had, okay? So if you like this kind of content, guys, please subscribe. Share the video if you have a friend who's thinking of coming to Canada. Leave a comment and leave a like, okay? Magamabeda now. Thank you guys for watching this video as usual. Until next time, Dems out.